friends and welcome back to But First Coffee, where life begins after coffee. Today I have a battle video for you and we are battling out lipsticks. So I have gone and picked out five different lipsticks from different drugstore brands and we are going to battle them out today. If you are new to my drugstore battles, I will have a link to all of my past battles in the down bar. But without any further ado, let's jump into this battle of the drugstore lipsticks round one. First up, we have Revlon's Super Lustrous Lipstick, which costs $8, and I have the color Love That Pink. This lipstick claims to have buildable coverage, smooth application, and a comfortable wear. It also comes in almost 80 different shades, so there is a color out there for everybody. Application of this lipstick is pretty easy. It is smooth, and the color is well pigmented. It sets after about five minutes, and it's the teeniest bit dry feeling when it sets, but not too uncomfortable. The stain power on this lipstick is also really awesome. I was able to wear this color through eating and drinking, and it held up really great. Overall, this is an awesome drugstore lipstick. Next into the ring, we have L'Oreal's Color Rich Lipstick, which costs $8, and I have the color Pink Flamingo. It claims to be moisturizing, conditioning, and able to last for hours. It also comes in 40 different shades, which isn't too bad, gives you a lot of colors to choose from. The formula is nice and creamy and applies really well. The stain power is decent. While it does start to fade after a few hours, it fades really naturally, so you're not left with anything that looks blotchy on, or unnatural. You do just kind of need to touch this color up as you're wearing it if you want the vibrancy and pigmentation of the color to last. But overall, it's a really nice lipstick. It's super comfortable to wear and very moisturizing. Our third contender is NYX's Round Case Lipstick, which costs about $4. And I have the color 571A, which is very creative. This claims to have a velvet formula with long-lasting color, and it also comes in almost 40 shades, so there is a lot of colors to choose from. This lipstick is definitely on the smooth side and glides on really nice. The color isn't crazy pigmented, so it does take a little bit of time to build it up, but once it's on, it feels really comfortable on the lips. The only downside is the stain power isn't crazy long, almost because it always feels almost too creamy and it never really seems to set, but overall, for $4, this is a really nice little lipstick with a ton of different color options, very comfortable comfortable and very nice looking on the lips. Fourth into the ring, we have Rimmel London's Moisture Renew Lipstick, which costs $7, and I have the color Back to Fuchsia. As far as shades, there are about 25, so a few less colors to choose from, but it claims it is going to give you great long-lasting color that is very moisturizing. The color payoff on this lipstick is amazing, just like they claim. It's not drying at all on the lips. This lipstick is crazy, crazy creamy. It blends onto your lips like a total dream and is an opaque in one single swipe. Very, very pigmented. Through eating and drinking, I wore this for about four or five hours, and the color lasted really, really well. It only faded a tiny bit, so overall, I really love this lipstick. I love how creamy and moisturizing and comfortable it is on the lips, but I also love the amazing color payoff. Last into the ring, we have Jessie Girl's lipstick. This costs about $4, and I have the color... Fabala. This lipstick only comes in 12 different shades, but it claims that it's going to be moisturizing because of its addition of vitamin E. In application, this lipstick definitely needed a little work to build up to be opaque and even, and even then it struggled to stick to the center of my lips, leaving me with this little bit of lip that was uncovered. The formula was pretty comfortable, but the stain power wasn't quite there. It's not that this was a total dud for only $4, it wasn't the worst, but the stain power just couldn't stand up to the other lipsticks in this battle. Alright guys, that was all five of these lipsticks duking it out in the ring, so let's talk about a winner. At the end of the day, none of these lipsticks were really total duds, but there are definitely some that I probably won't repurchase. The first brand that I know I won't repurchase is Jessie's Girl. The stain power just wasn't good enough, and neither was the pigmentation. Next up is probably NYX. I just thought that the pigmentation could have been a little bit better, and the stain power could have been a little better. There's other NYX lip products that I just like a little bit more than this lipstick. That leaves us with Rimmel, L'Oreal, and Revlon, and all three of these I will probably repurchase different colors of these lipsticks. But if we want to talk about my absolute favorites, the next one to go would be L'Oreal. I just found that it didn't stay on quite as long. It was just a little bit too sheer. I felt like it didn't get like total 100% pigmentation out of it, which leaves Revlon and Rimmel. Both of these were awesome. The staying power for these two were pretty equal for me. I found that they both lasted really, really well without the need to touch up too much. But if I just had to pick one that to me seemed a tiny bit better, it would be the Rimmel one. And the reason why is because the form 
formulation was just so creamy and so so pigmented that it made wearing it and applying it just so comfortable and so easy I absolutely loved it and then the color stayed put really all day long so there you have it let me know in the down bar what's your favorite drugstore lipstick brand as well as leave me any requests for other products that you would like to see battled out I had gotten a lot of requests to do a matte lipstick battle when people were requesting what I was going to do in this battle so if that's something you'd like to see give this video a thumbs up and that'll let me know you would like to see a battle of the matte drugstore lipsticks I hope you're all having a fantastic day and I will see you all in my next video.